need to consider um, what pro proceeds were taken care of by the bank. So here what we're looking at is um, what does the bank know about that we don't yet have recorded in our books. Okay, that's the way I do it. And if we look at the notes, I think it talks about that the bank took care of a principal payment for us. Okay, let's go see if we can find that information. Sure enough, in the body of the deposits, we see there's MS, which stands for miscellaneous, and it looks like we've got a deposit of 2500 and another one of $125. Um, dollars. Now, the way they lay this out, since those are deposits and we didn't have any record, record of it, we can pretty much assume that the larger amount, the 2500 is uh, is the proceeds of a note collected from the bank, and the interest is the $125. Okay? So we can jot that there. Um, now we need to see, was there anything else we need to add or deduct? Okay, to save time in the demo, I've gone ahead and figured out what's off. Let me show you this. On check 749, which appears right here in the amount of, to the left of my mouth, $640.13 is what the bank said the check was for. And if we look at our records, we see we wrote it is for $640.31. So we we reversed the digits of the 31 versus the uh, 13. Okay, so 31 less 13 is a different of eight, difference of 18 cents. So we need to add that back. So we had an error in recording, what is it, check number 749. And that error was uh, equal 31 cents minus 0.13, which is 18 cents. Um, so we need to add that in as well. Okay, so now we know the positive deductions. Um, on the negative side, let's see if we had anything else to consider. We'll look at the bank statement again. Okay, look to the left of my mouse again. I'm moving it a little bit there. Um, that code is NSF, which stands for Non Sufficient Funds, which meant we deposited a check. Um, uh, the person, the drawer of the check, didn't have enough money uh, to support it, so they couldn't deposit it. So, as a result, um, that the bank flagged that as an NSF check. And then we also got a service charge of $34.40. So, those are items that the bank would know about that we wouldn't. So we need to adjust our bank reconciliation for that. Okay, back on here, we'll indicate uh, you know, maybe a check returned due to NSF. Okay, that would be non-sufficient funds. Oh, it's a drop-down list, so this was supposed to make it easy for us. Um, let me grab the drop-down list. See if we can find that NSF charge. Yep, there it is. And the amount of that was two ninety one and ninety cents. Okay, let's see if we had any other errors. Okay, I've positioned the screen so that you can see the two errors. Another error on um, on six eighteen, the bank said we had a deposit of one thousand six oh six and seventy four cents to the left of my mouse there. If we move over to our records, we see that to the left of my mouse, we thought the amount was 160.47. So we thought it was 1660. The bank says no, it's less. So as a result, we need to deduct that difference. And that difference is $53. Okay, and 73 cents. And this little template gives us a nice drop down. And it's the error in recording the June 17th deposit. Uh, also, we had that service charge that uh, occurred. Let me see if I can find that job chat down here. Slide up a little bit. Yeah, we had.
that service charge, and that amount was $34.40. Let's go back and make sure that's the right amount. Sure enough, to the left of my mouse, $34.40. Okay, so now we'll sum those cells. 380.03. Okay, if we've considered all of the items that the bank said that we knew about that the bank didn't know about, which is usually outstanding deposits and outstanding checks. It's usually not anything other than that. And then we, and we derive an adjusted balance. Then we do the same thing starting with the cash balance, and we look for things that the bank knew about that we don't know about, and we adjust those accordingly. And then if we've done everything right, the two amounts should equal. Oh, let me put in that subtotal again here. So we should be able to take that, subtract the deductions, and we get 12,822,02, which matches uh, that adjusted balance, so we know we've done the bank reconciliation correctly. Okay, now let's take a look at part two. Okay, here's what part two says to the left of my mouse. Journalize the necessary entries, and the accounts have not been closed. Okay, looks like they've given us some entries that that we need to make. All right. Well, we need to debit cash. What do we ne need to debit it for? Well, we need to debit it for uh, items that, that we didn't know about that the bank knew about. So we collected a notes receivable. So let's go ahead and credit notes receivable for $2,500. And I'm taking the amount from here. Um, also, the bank knew that we had some interest revenue to record. That's the $125, right? Um, is there anything else? Yes, we had an 18 cent error in accounts payable. We need to reflect that as well on uh, cash. So accounts payable was uh, understated by 18 cents. We need to increase that. Okay, now we take the sum of those entries. You'll see I always do the easy part first. Cash is the one that we would force. Uh, 262518. Uh, but now we do have a couple other adjustments we need to record. We had that $53.73 uh, error in recording the June 17th deposit. Um, well, we can pretty much assume that that $53.73 was an overstatement, so we better reduce sales for that customer's account, right? $53.73. Um, the check return because of NSF means that accounts receivable is still open. So although we shut, we closed it for, to, for the receipt of that, we now realize they, uh, they handed us a piece of paper that wasn't worth anything. So we need to put the 291.90 back into accounts receivable. Um, and then, of course, the service charge, we need to record that expense. So again, we're taking care of any of the adjustments down here that the bank knew about that we don't know about, so we need to reflect it in our books. Okay, and uh, I would put this in probably an miscellaneous, miscellaneous administrative expense. Oh, and of course, I've got to do it perfectly with a drop-down list or pick it from the drop-down list. So we'll do it. We'll use the template as it was designed to make this problem a little bit easier. Okay, and once we know all of those items, then we know that on this side we need to record the decrease in cash for the sum of those amounts. Okay, so now in the first entry we recorded the um, the items that increased cash as a separate entry, and then we went ahead and we recorded the items that decreased cash. And you certainly could net this. You could do all of this in one entry if you liked, but I think it logically makes sense to, to break it up this way. In practice, I have also seen where every one of these entries was be, would be done as a single entry, meaning one debit and one credit. So we would hit the cash account, uh, what would we, one, two, three, four, five, you know, maybe six times. Uh, to solve this problem. But in this way we do it with two compound entries and that's fine. Okay, now let's read question three. It says, what is the amount of cash that should appear on the balance sheet 
as of June 30th. Okay, now that's easy. We work down to an adjusted balance, that 8, 12, 8, 22, 02 that I've got the cell on, right, you know, right there. Well, that's the amount that should appear, so that's the answer to number 3. Number 4 says, assume that a canceled check for $390 has been incorrectly recorded by the bank as 930 Briefly explain how the error would be included in a bank reconciliation and how it should be corrected. Okay, a $540 error uh, appearing in the canceled checks would wind up or, or should be added to the balance according to the bank statement on the bank reconciliation. So if we go over here, okay, it would be overstated in this amount right, right there in cell J12 because they had overstated that amount. Then the canceled check should be presented to the bank with a request that the bank balance be corrected um, because we received money we're really not entitled to and uh, we need to adjust that in our books. Okay, that takes care of all this problem. Thank you, everyone.